Hello guys, welcome to our coding and now we are going to discuss the next question that is count all single child parent in a binary tree. So this question is actually the extension of our previous question. Okay. So if you have not watched my previous question video, so I will recommend you to please watch my previous video first and then start solving this question. You can easily understand this question. Okay. So now I'm going to tell the difference in my previous question and this in, in this question. Okay. So in, in, a, in my last question, what I have done is I, I have to return the all the single child parent node in a list. Okay, so I have to first fill all the child all the single child parent node into the list and then I have to return it. But in this question, what we have to do is we have to return the count of it. Okay, so first what we have to do, we have to return, uh, we have to count all the single child parent node and then we have to return it. Okay, so let's see how can we do this. So this is our tree. Okay, so this is our tree and what we have to return. See we have to return this we uh, our single child parent node is 40 60 and 70 so what we have to do we have to return the count three because there are total number of three single child parent and we already know our what are single child parent node single child parent node is that node is that parent node which is having single child like this is a parent node and this is a child single child this is a parent node this is a single child this is a parent node this, uh, and th this is having a single child okay so this is what we need to find out in in this question okay so how can we solve this so the there are two methods for it okay so the first method is the using the static variable static variable okay so we, we have we can use the static variable and what is the code for this code is exactly same as our previous question exact it was uh, the code is exactly same okay so what is the second approach the second approach is we have to return the count okay so we are going to see both the approach how can we solve this okay so let's go and uh, code the our first method that is by you taking the static variable okay but this method is not much preferred okay because in this we have to take one global variable so let me take this first but we are just doing the code so end sorry static end count is equal to zero so we have initialized our count to zero let me take change it for a while so I have to change for the void and now what we have to do is I have solved this and now I'm printing it okay so what I will do is I'm going to print the count so let me remove this first okay I'm going to print the count before calling this method Okay, first I'm going to call and then I'm going to print the count. So let's do this. How can we do this? So I will write just simple code. If node dot node is equal to null. So let me do the full screen first. Okay. If node is equal to null, I will write this code very fast okay so if node of left equal to null that is leap node and node of right equal to null okay so that means this is a leaf node so i'm going to return it and then i'm going to use the second condition that is if node of left equal to null or if any one of the this condition is true node of right is equal to if any of this condition holds true then what we were doing in the last question then we were adding in the list but we don't have to add anything in the list what we have to do instead of adding we have to increment the count okay so i'm going to increase the count okay then i'm going to just use the two calls for the left as well as for the right control v 
node of left and node of right okay so let's run this and check for that oh okay so we are getting one error so simply just we have just missed one semicolon so let me do this and now run this and this is running okay so now we have done our first approach we have solved this question by using our first approach now what we are going to do we are going to do the second approach that is return and we have to return the count so in this approach what we are going to do is i'm going to use the simple recursion faith okay recursion faith let's see how can we do this so what the root is going to do is this is root okay so we are going to pass the root and the root will ask the left side let go and give me the count of all the single child parent okay so what the root will do root will order to the left side that go and give me the all the count of the single child parent node. okay and it is also going to ask to the right side like all the element go and return me the all the single child parent node the count of the single child parent node that is our faith okay so what is our faith faith is that we i want the count of single child parent node from both the sides from the left side also from the right side also and what i will do is i'm going to add these two okay so like this we are going to find the count. so for this it is going to return one and the right side is going to return two so i'm going to add this okay and i will return the three okay so let's go and code this okay so let me change it now so let me remove this and just remove this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is first I will comment this. So if let me take it int and I'm going to remove the count. Okay. So what I'm I have to return this time we have to return the count. Okay. So if it is a leaf node, then what we have to return? We have to return zero and what I will do, I'm going to store these values that left count. Okay, so I'm talking about this value. See this value, the left side. And again, in the second call, I'm going to asking, uh, I'm I want this value to the right side. Okay, so left count and int right count. Okay, so in the end, what I will do. I will just take one more variable that is answer left count plus right count and I'm going to return the answer. Okay, so is it hundred percent? Is this code is hundred percent correct? No. Why? Because what we have done, let me take one more example. What we have done is suppose this is our tree 20, 40, 50. 60. Suppose this is our tree. What we have done, we have used the left call as well as right call. This is null. Okay, so it is going to return 1. But what is the count of single child parent node in this question? In this problem, the count for single child parent node is 2. But it is going to return only 1 because it is not checking for himself. So what we have to do, we have to check for myself also. Okay. So for this, we have to handle one more condition. Okay, so this piece of code is to check whether I am single child parent node or not. So I'm going to take this, take this code, this piece of code, and I'm going to paste this here. Okay, so let me do the indentation. Hmm. So now I'm going to uncomment it. So now suppose what is the condition of this so when node of left is not is is equal to node uh, is equal to null or node of right is equal to null that means it is a single child parent node 
okay because the we already know like these two condition is false okay so like we already know that this condition is false that's why uh, we are in this position in this line okay so we have already discussed uh, the same thing in you know in my previous video okay so go and check check out this uh, that video okay so the link is in this description okay so you can check it so what we have to do is i'm going to increase the answer okay the count of answer so if i am the uh, single child parent note that increase the answer by one and then we have to return so this is now the hundred percent correct okay hmm. so now this is correct so let me run it and then we will dry run this okay so it is correct so let me take this code and dry run this So let me take this snippet and let's try it on this. Okay, so this is our code. Now I'm going to try it on this. Let me take one stack. Okay, now I'm going to use the recursive code. So first I'm in root node. So I'm going to insert 10 and then what I'm going to do? Uh, it is going to check this condition, but this is false. So first, then it is going to move toward the left side. Okay. So I will use a left call and 20 will push into the stack. Then what is going to happen? Then again, it is going to check this, this condition first. So these all condition are false. So like this node is not equal to null and this is also not a leaf node. Okay. So what is going to happen? This is again moving toward the left call. So what is going to return from here? as you can see it if you use the left call 30 will push into the stack and now this is a null uh, this is a leaf node so what we have to do we have to return zero okay so what we have to return we have to return zero zero now let's move to the next call that is 20 of right so now it is going to move here then for 40 is going to push the stack so is these condition are true no because this node is not equal to null as well as this is not a leaf node okay so then what what we will do what we will move toward the left side then we'll move to the left side so this is a leaf node so in this uh, this condition will is going to be true so we have to return the zero out of here so we have to return the zero so let's return the zero it is going to return the zero now we are going to use the right call so right is all null so it is also going to return zero then we have to run this because we have used all both the calls in in this case so there will be one answer so answer is left plus right that is zero and now i'm going to check for myself also because now the answer is zero now i'm going to check for myself also that is if node of left is null that is false if node of right is null that is true that means i am a single child parent node so what we have to do we have to increment the answer by one okay and in the end we have to return the answer so what i am going to return it so i am going to return the one out of it okay uh, then wipe out from the stack then 20 will also wipe out and it will return it so what i am going to return I am going to return the I am going to return 1 okay because the sum of this is answered and then I am going to check for this and I am going to return okay now I am going to call for the right now the uh, pointer will come out of here okay node I am going to check these conditions for this node so all these conditions are false because this is not a null as well as this is not a leaf node okay so now it is going to call for the left so first it is for 60 of left okay so then we move toward the 70 so these conditions are false so again it is it will move toward the 70 of left so that is null so now i'm going to call for the right so from there zero will be returned and this is a leaf node so again it is going to return zero out of here so it is going to add an answer that is zero and now it is going to check for all these two conditions okay 
so node of left is equal to null that means it is a leaf uh, it is single child parent node so it is going to increment the answer and it will return it okay it is going to return it so it will wipe out from the stack now all now 60 is going to return for the right so here the zero will be returned and here the one will be returned now the answer will be left plus right that is one okay now it is going to check for this so it is a single child parent node yes it is a single child parent node because right is null now what we have to do we have to increment the answer by one that will become two and in the end we have to return this and what we have to for, then i will check it for this node so it will return false out of here so it, this condition is false then in the end what i will do i will just in, sum these two conditions that is one plus two that is equal to three and all the step will be going so this is how the code is going to flow in this question okay so let's go and run the co this code now so let me submit it and check for all the test cases hmm. so all the test cases are running fine so thank you guys for watching this video and we'll meet in the next video